God. Come on, give him a hand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Praise God. Hallelujah. Well, lift your hands up to heaven. Father, we pray and ask that you would grant unto us tonight, each and every one of us, the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of you, that the eyes of our understanding have been enlightened, that we do know what is the hope of your calling, and what are the riches of the glory of the inheritance in the saints, and what is the exceeding greatness of your power to us who believe, according to the working of your mighty power, which you wrought in Christ when you raised him from the dead, set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places, far above all principality and power and might and dominion, every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. And had put all things, come on now, let that get in your heart tonight, had put all things under his feet, and gave him to be head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness that filleth all in all. And Father, we give you the glory, we give you all the honor and praise in Jesus' name, and everybody said amen and amen. amen. Praise God. You may be seated. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Ha, <laughs> Woo, glory to God. How many of you know the Lord is good and His mercy endures forever? Amen. Thank you, Lord. I said the Lord is good and His mercy endures forever. Look at Philemon, verse 6, and we'll just see where the Lord wants to go with this tonight. Praise God. You know, the Holy Ghost is moving in this place tonight. All you have to do is just yield to Him. And if you'll yield to Him, I guarantee you, you'll receive something tonight. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now, who is that in here you're dealing with lower back pain? Stand up on your feet real quick. Lower back pain. Stand up on your feet. If that's you all over this building, stand up. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Justin, get up here. Hallelujah. Just come on up here right now. Everyone dealing with lower back pains, come up here. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. You know, sometimes we just got to move out of the way of the Holy Ghost and let Him have the service. Praise God. I'm not big enough to handle a service, but He's big enough. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Woo, glory. Shh. I felt the anointing just get stronger right there. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory, glory, glory. Woo, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. Just lift your hands up to heaven. Exodus 15, verse 26. He said, I am the Lord your God that heals thee. I like Acts 10, 38. says, How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth and I always throw this in there. How many of you know what I say? And Tim Brown with the Holy Ghost and power who goes about doing good and healing all. Shh, ooh, glory. Who were oppressed of the devil. Sickness and disease is satanic oppression. The Amplified Version calls it satanic harassment. Ooh, there's the anointing right there. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. There's the anointing right there. Ah ha ha. Shh. Woo. Ah ha. It's the Lord. It's the Lord that does it. You know, when Pastor Bracken was singing in the beginning, man, the glory of God filled this place. Praise God. How many of you know that the King is among us? I said the King's here. He's the King. Woo. And He's healing. He's healing bodies, and I can tell you right now, thank you, Lord, I see that. Woo, there's the anointing right there. Thank you, Father. <laughs> Woo. You won't stand under that power for very long. Woo. Ha, ha, ha. Well, there's the anointing right there. Woo, glory to God. The anointing is tangible. Praise God, you can feel it. It's just like electricity. You can feel it when it comes out of your body. You can feel it when it comes in your body. There it is right there. Woo. Thank you, Lord. It's the best thing ever, the anointing. Ha, ha, ha. Woo. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. 
I see that. You just needed a little adjustment in your back and you got it right there. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And by the way, he's, he's not only taking care of your back, but he took care of that stomach issue you were having. <laughs> Woo, he took care of that stomach issue. You won't have to deal with that any longer. All that pain you've been having in your stomach, you'll see. <laughs> Woo. I think, how many of you think that scientists and doctors have great technology with all these machines and stuff? Well, you really don't think the Holy Ghost is much bright, brighter than some kind of MRI or X-ray machine? Woo. Thank you, Lord. Boy, there's... <laughs> I know you already got it, didn't you? I knew it. Woo. I knew it when, you, when I was right over here. Woo. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. I hear one word for you. It's a very simple word. It's called rest. God said, I got this thing. You've tried to deal with it. You've tried to handle it. And it hasn't changed. But if you'll just rest and get ready. Ooh, he said, I've already put everything in place. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Who is that in here? You have a knee problem. Who is that? You have a knee problem. Stand up on your feet. Stand up on your feet. Knee problems. Your knee's been bothering you. Anybody else in here? Thank you. Thank you. Seems like there's one more person. Who is that? Thank you. Come on up here. Praise God. You know, I love to preach the gospel. I love to teach, but I sure wouldn't be disobedient to the Lord. It's not about me. It's about Him. Praise God. I said, it's about Him. Thank you, Lord. Just raise your hands to heaven. Woo. Did you feel that? The moment your hands went up? My goodness. Woo. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I, pray, I prayed for several people that needed new knees that went to the doctor and the doctor said you need new knees you got to have surgery they heard about miracles that God was doing and they came to the church walked in the door and said the Lord, the Lord told me to come here doctor said I knew, need new knees I said you at the hospital thank you Jesus thank you Lord thank you Lord Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Ooh, there's the anointing right there. Praise God. <laughs> Ooh, there's the anointing. Thank you, Lord. Ooh, hallelujah. Praise God. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, Lord. There's the anointing. Just let it do the work. The anointing does the work. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Woo! Thank you, Lord. There's the anointing right there. There you go. There you go. Just receive it. Thank you, Lord. Just receive it right there. There you go. You hooked on to it right there. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Who is that in here you dealing it's with your neck? It's in, in between, right here, between your ear and your shoulder. Who is that? Dealing with that. Stand up on your feet. Who is that in here? You have a neck issue. Stand up real quick. Real quick. Ooh, come on up here. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Praise God. Just lift your hands up to heaven. <laughs> I knew it was you. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Woo, shoo. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. <laughs> shoo. Woo. It's the anointing. You know, the anointing is so powerful. Some people, 
Some people cry. Some people laugh. You don't have to fall down when the anointing comes on you. I believe we're living in a days where the anointing will stand people back up. Are you still here? I can tell you this. In 1999, God used me. I didn't say I did it, but he used my hands. And it's all through the book of Acts where God used the apostle's hand. There was a man that had died and was laying on the side of the road. They were out fishing. And the Lord told me to stop. And I stopped and I laid hands on him. And the Lord brought him back to life. Not once. He did it once on the side of the road the second time in the hospital. Doctors had covered him up. Coroner came in and pronounced him dead. Within three minutes, God raised him from the dead. And he lived six months to get his life right and get his family right. Then he went on to be with the Lord in heaven. It's on video. It was documented. Are you still here? That song got me stirred up a while ago. Will you do it again? I'm telling you, he's doing it again. And he's doing it in this church. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Woo. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Who is that in here? You're dealing with your throat. Your throat. Your throat is bothering you. Who is that? Stand up on your feet real quick. Glory to God. Come on up here. Who else? Who else? You can always tell when, when someone's answered it, then I'll get a release. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Man, that shirt, it just went off in my spirit. Cave me. Thank you, Lord. When Pastor Bracken was taking up that offering a while ago, it reminded me of David. And he got those cave men. They were in distress. They were broke. They were depressed and oppressed. And he taught them the Word of God. Evidently, he taught them how to give. He taught them how to sow. And if you keep reading, the report of it was they gave millions and billions of dollars. You're one of those men. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You know, when I started my church about 11 years ago, God told me this. He said, if you'll take the ones that nobody else wants, there'll be a day that I'll give you the ones that everybody wants. And the Lord told me, he said, you'll raise up millionaires. I said, Lord, that's too hard. Just send me millionaires. Anybody ever prayed a prayer like that before? <clears throat> and just get ready. Because this went off in me in, in man camp. There's some millionaires around here. You look in the mirror. You look in the mirror and you'll see millionaires. Because God is doing some things here. And I don't say this lightly. But it's all about the blessing and it's all about favor. In Psalms 30 verse 5 he said favor is for life. You get up every morning and you declare I'm highly favored of God. Everywhere I go people love me. They give me money. Shh. I say it every day and it happens every day. There's not a day that don't go by that it doesn't happen. Woo glory. <laughs> Just raise your hands up. Thank you Lord. Praise God. Woo! Ha 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 ha! Ha ha ha! Glory to God! There's the anointing right there. Woo! There's the anointing right there. Ha 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 ha! Woo! In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Woo! There it is. Thank you, Father. Ha ha! <laughs> Blessed! <laughs> Woo! Shh! <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> Just lift your hands up to heaven. Thank you, Lord. Woo. That's the anointing right there. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Glory to God. I'll obey. I'll obey. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. By the way, that tickling in your throat, that's the anointing. Woo, that's the healing power of God. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Shh. Ah, ha, ha, ha. There's the anointing. Who is that in here? You're having problems breathing. Stand up on your feet. You're having problems breathing. It seems like you're having a sharpness of breath. Stand up real quick. Thank you, Lord. Ha ha ha. How many of you know that God 
can take care of several things at one time. Who, who is that in here? Who is that? You're having sharpness of breath, having problems breathing. Who is that? Thank you, Lord. You don't have to be afraid. Come on up here. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. You know, just raise your hands up to heaven. When you come in a place like this, where the reverence of God is, God can do many a things. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. It's not just raining on the outside. It's raining on the inside. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. There's the anointing right there. I just like to let the anointing minister. Thank you, Lord. I see that. Thank you, Lord. Now, there's several people in here you're dealing with anxiety attacks. Stand up on your feet. Stand up. You're dealing with anxiety attacks. I'm telling you, the Lord will deal with it tonight. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. That's what we come here for. We come here to have a meeting place with God. Get up here real quick. Anxiety attacks. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Woo, glory to God. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Just lift your hands up to heaven. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Power of God's all over you. Woo. You feel that? Praise God. As a matter of fact, right now, you're under the influence of the power of God. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. It's very strong right now on this young man. Ha. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He's anointed me to heal the broken heart. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Brody, come up here real quick. Just get down here and minister to Him. Everybody lift your hands to heaven. I want God to touch this young man like he's never been touched before. Everything what the devil's meant for evil that's touched this young man is being lifted off of him right now. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Father, we're in agreement tonight. Every one of us, we're in agreement with, right, with this young man right now. Lord, you touch his soul. You touch his spirit. You touch his body. Remove, erase, restore, and also reveal your goodness to this young man. Thank you, Lord. Lord, do something for him. Do something for him supernatural tonight. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Boy, the power of the Holy Ghost is all over him. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. Praise God. <laughs> Woo! Glory, glory, glory to God. Come on, do we believe that the King is among us in this place tonight? Don't ever take one thought thinking that after praise and worship stopped that God left this place. It was so strong during worship. And He's still here right now showing us His power and His glory. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> You'll see some things that you've never seen before. Ooh, there's the anointing right there. You're already starting to see things that you've never seen before. Thank you, Lord. 
<laughs> Woo, glory to God. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all is within me. Bless his holy name. Forget not one of his benefits, saith the Lord. Don't forget not one. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. You know, it seems like sometimes we get saved and we have the revelation that we've been forgiven of sins, but it doesn't stop there. He's taking care of all of it the moment that you've given him your heart. Not only has he forgiven you of sins, I was studying this this evening and reading over at 2 Corinthians 5.21. For he made him who knew no sin to be sin for you and me, that we would be made the righteousness of God in Him. And I begin to get a revelation, a stronger revelation of the moment that Jesus was made to be my sin is the moment I was made to be His righteousness. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Now, I'm just going to say this, and if it don't bear witness with your spirit, just let it go. Don't even receive it. But there's things that you're being pulled to and pulled back and forth, it seems like. Now, I know what the Lord's talking about, so I don't want to cross over the line and get over in the flesh. I want to stay in the spirit. And the Lord has already told you how long and the time frame has already passed. So you've got to obey Him. And you've got to listen to His voice. And you have to be led by the Spirit in that situation. And that's why those anxiety attacks have been coming up on you. But you've got to say, no, I'm going to obey. And in order for you to obey, you would have to trust in Him. And you have to trust in the decision that you know that's right within your heart. And just step out tonight and do it, saith the Lord. There's the anointing right there. <laughs> Woo. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And you're not wrong. You're right. Because you were dealing with this right before church tonight. Just dealing with that. And this just confirmation. Look, never be led. You know, people say, well, there's a prophet in town. I want to go get a word from the prophet. And that's how I'm going to be led. He said, there's many that are led by the Spirit. These are the children. These are the sons of God. Prophecy is only for confirmation. I mean, even if Brother Hagin was here tonight, still alive, and he told me to do something, if I didn't bear witness with my spirit, I'm not going to do it. Maybe it was for the person behind me. You be led by your spirit, the Holy Spirit in your spirit. And he'll always lead you and guide you perfectly in line with the word of God. And this is for somebody in here. Anytime before I made a major decision, once I got the answer, then I went to my pastors. That's why it's important for you to have a pastor. The Bible says that Jesus was moved with compassion seeing that they were sheep without a pastor and they'd grown weary. The devil tried to make people think, you don't need a pastor. Well, he gave gifts unto men for what? For the equipping. And the pastors, the five-fold ministry gifts, they're a piece of equipment to get a job done. There's contractors in here. You know, you're not going to take a shovel out here to dig a foundation. It'll take you too long. But if you take a mini excavator, a trico, or a backhoe, you can get the job done right. You can get it done quick. And that's what the five-fold ministry gift is for. So anytime I made a major decision in my life, I went and prayed about it. I got an answer, but then I ran it through my pastor to see if he got the same thing. Are you still here? Aha. That wasn't all for you right there. You just happened to be up here and opened it up. You already got the answer, and you obey that answer. Praise God. And you'll see they'll never happen again. Uh-huh. Praise God. Glory to God. I love Isaiah 26 and verse 3. Whose mind is stayed on the Lord shall have perfect peace. you got to keep your mind fixed upon the Word of God. 
keep your mind fixed upon the Lord. Every time the doors were open here, I'd find some place for me to be. I don't care if it, was, if it was just a marriage conference going on. Man, I'd get in here and I'd hear the Word of God. Uh-huh. uh-huh. There's a power right there. Thank you, Lord. You came back for more, didn't you? Hallelujah. Just close your eyes and relax. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. As the scripture says that David was a man after my own heart, you're a woman after God's heart. Thank you, Lord. And you say, I want peace. And you've had peace before. And it's the peace of God that passes all understanding. It'll guard your heart and it'll guard your mind. Thank you, Lord. There's the anointing right there. <laughs> Ooh, glory to God. Thank you, Lord. It's the anointing that does the work. And the anointing is up on you. There, there it is right there. There it is right there. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Oh, it's, it's good. Because there's a cleansing taking place right now. There's a cleansing. That word earlier that Pastor Bracken had about uh, being cleaned up, being consecrated, that was for you. Oh, I know, that was for you. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, there's a cleansing. And man, I love it when a cleansing is taking place because, man, there's a time for weeping. Woo, but I'm telling you, you can tell when the anointing of God's upon your life, you'll feel brand new. You know, God doesn't just clean you up. God makes you righteous. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. <laughs> Woo, I'm just letting the anointing work. Praise God. You're just getting a little treatment tonight. Thank you, Father. Mm. Thank you, Lord. I see that. Yes, sir. Now, right here in this spot tonight, you must release it. I'm sorry. You must release him and let him go. Mm. You let that go. You just let it go. You let that hurt. You let that pain go. It's been holding you back too long. It's time for you to go forward. <laughs> There's the anointing to help you do it right there. Thank you, Lord. Whoosh. Be blessed. Be blessed. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Who, who is that in here you dealing with? It's continual dealing with migraine headaches. Who is that in here? Stand up on your feet real quick. Migraine headaches. Thank you, Lord. Real quick, stand up. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Get up here real quick. Thank you, Lord. You know, we just want to follow the ministry of the Holy Ghost tonight. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Just wait right here for me for a moment. Now, there's somebody else over here. Who, who's dealing with migraine headaches? It's right over in this area. Who is that dealing with migraines? Stand up real quick. It doesn't mean that you have one right now, but you deal with them continually. Thank you. Thank you. Come on up here. Praise God. God loves you too much, and I love you too much to let you leave like that. Praise God. There, there's revival fire in this place. And it's here even when I'm not here. I just happen to show up while God's moving. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Nothing is too big for Him. Nothing is too big for Him. Thank you, Lord. It's the anointing that does the work. You can't even explain it. 
If somebody would try to explain it to you, they'd get, get it off. They'd get it wrong. Thank you, Lord. It's the anointing. Hallelujah. Praise God. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Woo. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Praise God. Ha, 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 ha. Thank you, Lord. There's the anointing right there. Wow, there's the anointing right there from the top of your head. Woo! Shh. <laughs> uh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. There it is right there. It's the anointing. It's the anointing that does the work. And it's working right there. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Well, you know, I just, I just have to obey the Lord. That young man, come, come up here. Thank you, Lord. I just have to obey God. Praise God. God has a bright future for you. Now, you know, Pastor Bracken, when he was laying on the floor, the Lord told me to bless this young man, for us to bless him. And when I say bless him, I'm talking about financially. I was going to teach on who you are in Christ. And then when the Holy Ghost started moving, I thought, well, I'm going to teach on finances tonight. And you did that, but I still had a burden on me. It was about money in this place. And that burden was for this young man. And I said this earlier. I said, do something for him supernaturally. And it went off in me that we're supposed to take up an offering for him. Praise God. Just raise your hands to heaven. Ooh, glory. So I want us to do this. I want us to gather some money together. I want us to gather some money together. Do the best you can do. You say, we already took up an offering. This offering's not for me. I don't, I don't even know this young man. Pastor Bracken, you have something? You have something? Amen. Praise God. There's a hundred dollars already. Praise God. I don't even know what this is all about. Don't really matter. Ain't none of my business. It's just my business to obey God. Hallelujah. Praise God. And I really think one of the purposes for this, because people are dealing, they were dealing with it when you were teaching on finances early because the devil's a liar. He'll try to tell you He'll try, to, he'll try to tell you, oh, you yeah, don't need to hear about money, and money don't make a difference. Well, I tell you right now, it's making a difference in this young man. I said, it's making a difference in this young man. Don't you ever let the devil lie to you about money. A lot of times the devil will tell people, that preacher's after my money. You're right, he's after to get you your money, what belongs to you. He's after your heart. Matthew 6, 21. Hallelujah. Praise God. Is this your family here? Praise God. Hallelujah. Br bring your children up here. I I'm going to be honest with you. I think most of this service is for this family. Bring your family up here. Y'all come up here with me. God's touching this family tonight. Y'all get Pastor B a microphone. Praise God. You're not left out. You're not left out. I told you this morning, my friend, by the Holy Ghost, there's restoration in your family. And this morning it started, and this is just confirmation. Keep the money coming. Glory to God. We'll get a wheelbarrow to haul it out of here for them. I think we're shaming the devil right now. What the devil's meant for evil. God's turning it around. Hallelujah. Praise God. There's restoration going on right here. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. I, I think there's still some more money in here. 
I said, I think there's still some money in here because now it's involving the whole family. You say, what does money mean? Well, the Bible says that money answers all matters. But this, this is really just confirmation for this family. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. You're precious in the sight of God's eyes. You're precious. Thank you, Jesus. God, I'm fasting. His love just goes on and on. <laughs> Sometimes you just don't understand it. It's just His goodness. God knows how to touch us in ways that he shows us his goodness in so many ways. But he's faithful. He's faithful. Somebody's got a tongue or something here. There's something that you. O brandesi ki lotri ambasi, yo trosoki gai gai yande langre si kenge yo boko oti si 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 ki 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 ka ha. And the glory is upon you. And I said, the word came this morning that he was adjusting, he was adjusting you. Hallelujah. Always start with the head and then come down. And that which the enemy has stolen, this is just the beginning of a new season. Because you're rising up into a new place. A new place of blessing and a new walk. You've been on the edge in a lot of different ways, but but you're off the edge you're, you're in you made that choice to be in hallelujah and your family will always reap from the choices that you make the good decisions that you make mastica astike astike yeah um, <laughs> it was actually something that I saw and when I put my hands on Taylor I just saw this circle and there was a hole in it. And I saw that hole grow right back together. Mm. And it got brighter when it grew back together. It was like the light came on once the, all the edges touched. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Everybody stretch forth your hands up here. We just want to bless them. We bless them financially. Now we're going to speak the blessing over them. I declare that the Lord bless you and keep you. Lord, make his face to shine upon you and to be gracious unto you. Lord, lift up his countenance upon you. Give you the peace of God that passes all understanding. To guard your heart and your minds. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. 
that you fill every void. Thank you, Lord, that you've turned around every hurt, every pain, and every shame. Thank you, Lord, as she's seen into the Spirit that that hole was filled. Father, we thank you for them to go forth as a family for supernatural things to happen in their life that this is just the beginning. Yeah, this is just the beginning. We declare, Psalms 30, verse 5, over this family, yes. that favor yes. is for life. Yes. We call favor. You are highly favored by God. And we thank you, Lord. You said you would restore the years, the canker worm, the yes. caterpillar, and the locusts have eaten. You'll make it brand new. You said if we would delight ourselves also in you, you would give us the desires of our heart. Father, we thank you for your word working mightily in this family. We call it done. We call it done in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you that the joy of the Lord is their strength. Father, we thank you for your goodness, your glory upon their lives. Thank you, Lord. No more pain. No more shame. It's all gain, saith the Lord. Father, thank you for blessing them. They're our family, Father. They're our family too. They're your children. And you're serious about taking care of your children. And we have your heart. We call them our family tonight. Thank you, Lord. We'll pray for them. We'll build them up. We'll encourage them. Thank you, Father. That's your love for your children. <laughs> in Jesus name hallelujah Thank you, Lord. praise God Thank you, Lord. Woo, glory to God Thank you, Lord. maybe you can help him count his money because we want to give a report of what came in praise God hallelujah. I want you to bow your head and close your eyes in here real quick praise God I was going to do this this morning but the Lord said you do it tonight he said I'll move upon people's heart there's people in here, you're not right with God. That means that, you know, you've gotten close to God, but you've kind of got away. Man, you've been in times in your life where you would pray and God would answer your prayers immediately. Well, I'm here to tell you, all of us have been there at one point in our life. And God hasn't gone nowhere. The problem is we've gone somewhere. But I'm telling you, this is what I'm supposed to close out with tonight. You're in here and you say, I want to get back in that place. You know, a lot of times ministers will say and people will say, they'll say, you know, God's a God of a second chance. And God told me one day, he said, that's not true. Because if I was a God of a second chance, I would have to be counting how many times you made a mistake. And he said, I do not count. He's a God of a brand new start he's a God of a brand new start and you in here tonight you say I'm tired of riding the fence I'm tired of being outside you know the saddest story about Adam and Eve is they had to get out of the garden God took them out of the garden because he loved them because he didn't want the curse to come on them and you feel like that. You feel like, man, I've been living under a curse. You feel like the fellowship has been broken with God. But you say, tonight, I'm getting it right. Stand up on your feet all over. You say, I'm coming back to God tonight. Stand up all over this building. You say, I'm coming home tonight. I'm not living like this any longer. I'm receiving the grace and the mercy of God. Some more of you need to stand up. You say, I'm going to do it tonight. I'm going to make that decision. Thank you so much. More people standing up. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You're at the crossroads. You're at the crossroads. Listen to me, my friend. You have not done something bad enough for God not to receive you back home. The Lord gave me this word a few weeks ago. I woke up and He says, the father is always looking for the prodigal son to come home. He's always looking 
The father's always looking for the prodigal son to come home. The prodigal children. He's looking tonight. His eyes go to and fro. And we are, listen to me, we are in the presence of the king tonight. There's some more of you. You need to make that decision. Stand up. Stand up real quick. You say, I'm coming home. You that are standing up all over this building, come up here real quick. Come on up tonight. Come on up tonight. And some more of you, you say, I need to be up here. I need to be up here. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Jess, come see. Just come love on her. God's all over her right here. Just love on her. It's okay. Man, I remember when I got saved on that. I need somebody to come love on this young girl right here. Power of God's all over her. Man, I remember that Sunday morning when I got saved. I was the only one answered the altar call in the Southern Baptist Church. And boy, the devil said, everybody's going to make fun of you. Everybody's going to look at you. And you say, yeah, but if you're getting saved, you shouldn't be ashamed. Well, I guarantee you I was back then. I'm not tonight, but I was back then. There's some more people out here. You're on the crossroads. You know what I mean? Kind of like what Pastor Bracken, he, he was all over. God was all over him tonight. And he talked about what at man camp, where he talked about not being lukewarm. You know, the Bible says if you're lukewarm, God will spit you out. We've created a Jesus that cannot correct us. Because, man, we think that G Jesus is some kind of big furry ball that no matter what you do, it's okay for you to do it. It's not okay for you to do it. He will forgive you for doing it when you repent. Come on, I, I sense this in my spirit tonight. There's a few more of you that need to make this decision like them. Stand up real quick. Come on, I'm almost through. Stand up. You say, I'm tired of being lukewarm. I want to be on fire. Thank you, man. There's some more of you in here. You say, man, I'm not playing church anymore. I'm not going to be lukewarm anymore. I'm not going to get right with God, then fall back. I'm coming home tonight, and I'm staying home. I'm going to get on fire for God, and I'm going to stay on fire. Thank you so much. When I sense in my spirit that God's done or I've done what God wanted me to do, then I'll sit down and I'm out of here. But there's some more of you. Come on, God has showed you miracles and bodies. God has showed you miracles and finances. Don't never think that money does not make a difference. Those people that you and me bless, they're up here getting their hearts right with God. We're in the presence of the King. Come on, lukewarms, I'm calling you to get on fire tonight. Stand up and you say, I'm not going to be lukewarm anymore. I'm not going to be lukewarm anymore. I'm going to get on fire and I'm going to burn. And I'm going to burn. And I'm going to burn. And I'm going to shine. Listen to me, a fire that burns down and it's not on fire. It's real small. You can't see it very far. But you take some coals and you put some fire on them. And they'll glow and they'll shine and people will see it from miles away. That's what he's talking about tonight. I'm not living on the sidelines anymore. Come on, man. He's coming back to get his church. He wants you and me spotless. He don't want us blemished. And when you get on fire, it burns spots off. It burns those blemishes off. When the fire of the Holy Ghost burns on you, when the fire of the Most High God gets on you, come on now, you'll stay on fire. You'll be that person that'll be that voice for God. And He's calling you out from among the crowd tonight. He wants you to rise. He wants you to shine. Don't play church. Don't play with God. Tonight's your night. He'll light your candle. Come on now. He'll light your candle and your candle will burn and it'll burn. This is what we need. We need the power of God to make choices. And that power is here tonight. You can't make it on your own. But when the anointing of the Holy Ghost comes upon you to make a decision and stay steady. Woo, 
glory to God. Ha, 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 ha. He's calling you. He's calling you. Come on now. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, seek my face and pray, then, come on now, then, turn from your wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven, forgive your sin and heal your land. God wants to heal your land. He wants to heal your soul. He wants to heal your spirit. He wants to heal your body. Come on, there's a few more. Hallelujah. Praise God. Come on up here, my friend. This is a real man. This is a real man here. Come on now. Real men get right with God. Real men love Jesus. Come on now. You might have to bring your husband up here. Men, you might have to bring your wife up here. I committed adultery for 14 years. I beat my wife. I'm not proud of it. Come on now. She'd try to get me to go to church, and I wouldn't go to church. But when I got saved, I started dragging her into church. I said, baby, Sunday mornings ain't enough for me. Come on now. It ain't enough. We got to go on Sundays. We got to go on Mondays and Tuesdays and Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays and Saturdays. I went to church seven days a week for two years. I got grounded in the Word of God. And there ain't no devil in hell. And there ain't no devil in earth that can snatch you from the hand of God when you get grounded. Glory to God. There's two more people in here, the Lord. He said two. There's two more in here. He's calling you. Two more. Stand up if that's you. Stand up. Stand up. Come on now. You stand up, you'll stand out. Glory to God. Two. Come on, two. Woo, come on up here. Hallelujah. I don't like church. I don't like religion. I love the glory. I love being in the presence of the King. Hallelujah. I'm at home right now. Woo. We're going to pray for him, but I want him to sing that song again. Will he do it again? Listen, this is a testimony. This is fresh fire for me. Will he do it again? Look, he's done it again. And he'll do it again. Come on now. And he'll do it again. And he'll do it again. I have one more thing. Some people in here struggling with addictions. Struggling with addictions. Stand up on your feet. I know what it is. I'm not going to say it because it's not meant for everybody to know, but you're just struggling with some addiction. Stand up on your feet. Addictions does not just mean drugs. People, you know, the only addiction people deal with is drugs. Addiction, stand up. Stand up real quick. Come on. Come on, stand up. Here's one. Come on, stand up. Here's another one. Stand up. Come on, addictions. Praise God. Get up here real quick. Get up here real quick. Praise God. We're going to have to... Bust these walls out, praise God. The word of the Lord at man camp, that it's time to build that building. It's time for us to rise and build. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise God, praise God. <laughs> Ooh, I love it when God moves. You cannot come in the presence of God. Come on now, you can come as you are, but when you get in the presence of God, I'm telling you, you may not feel it, you may not sense it, but there is something supernatural going on on the inside of you right now. Raise your hands up to heaven, and I want this to be your heart tonight. Say, Father God, I declare that Jesus Christ, He heals, He saves, He delivers, He redeems. I'm saved, I'm redeemed of the Lord. You said to let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Say this. Say, I'm redeemed by His blood. I'm a child of God. I came home tonight and I'm staying home in Jesus' name. Woo! Boy, the power of God's all over this guy. Woo! Oh, praise God.
<laughs> Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Can I pray for you? Praise God. Just raise your hands to heaven. Man, there's something about you. You and me connected when you came up here. There's a lot of hurt. And man, I've been there too. I've been there too. I, I, I was hurt. I even had a preacher hurt me one time. And when that preacher hurt me, I, I swore up and down I'd never go back to church again. But you know what, my friend? All preachers are not like that. Praise God. Pastor Bracken, would you come see, sir? Just relax. Man, the power of God's all over you right there. Praise God. We're just going to pray for you. Mm. Thank you, Lord. And the Savior's yes. for us. His love is victorious. Revival is rising in His name. From the top of your head. The right? King is among us. His glory surrounds us. His fire is falling as we sing. The Savior is for us. Just open up your mouth and let it go. His love is victorious. That's your prayer language. His revival is rising as we sing. We need your revival. Yeah, stand up and lift your hands Holy to heaven and worship Spirit the King. Fire tonight. People are getting filled right now, restored right now. In That's our souls. Kings and kingdoms falling. Hear your people calling. Thank you, Father. King Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. The anointed right there. We need your revival. Holy Spirit fire. Burning ever brighter in our souls. Kings and kingdoms falling. Feel. Feel. Field, 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 field. Ben, get up here. He is among us. Glory to God. Glory surrounds us. Father, do it right now. Do it, God. Do it. In the name. Thank you, Father. For a fresh fire. Lift your voice and back to God and replace right now. Let's get him a microphone real quick. Woo. Come on, God, the king is here, my friend. Tell, tell Tim what you told me. He said, I have, one, I have one kidney, and it always hurts. It doesn't hurt anymore. Woo! <laughs> Come on now. I'm telling you, the Lord is doing miracles up here tonight. Woo. God bless you, my friend. Woo! Ha, 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 ha. It's just the beginning. Us. Thank you, Father. This fire is falling as we you, see. It's okay. It's okay. Because the King is among us. And Father, His glory you do it. surrounds you do it, us. You do it. This fire is falling as you, we see. I want some women to get down here and just pray for her and love on her. His glory surrounds us. His fire is falling him, as we <laughs> see. <laughs> and the it's Savior is for us. For God. And His love <laughs> is victorious. <laughs> and revival is Come rising. Come on, people. Pull on God. Pull on God. Lift up name. your voices in here. 
The King is in this building tonight. The King is the King is here. His glory surrounds us. And His fire is falling. Bless! 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 The sin is falling. The king is still king here. Is among we may be through, but he's not through. Come on, he's not through. No, he's not through. Man, the days of the old, they'd come in a service like this. And when the king walked in, they went for days. They went for days. The king is here. I'm not talking about a man. The king. Of kings is here. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> A man after God's heart. in here tonight. Get up here. You said, I just need a boost. That's what he came up here for. He said, I just want some more. Get up here real quick. Real quick, you say, I just want more. I just want more. I'm telling you, more is here. I don't know if I've ever felt the presence of God like right now. In my whole life. Thank you, Lord. Holy Spirit, fire burning ever brighter in our souls. Thank you, Father. Kings.
kings and kingdoms falling, hear your people calling. King of kings, we need a miracle. We need your revival, Holy Spirit fire. Burning ever brighter in our souls. Kings and kingdoms falling. Hear I hear the Holy Ghost saying this for you. Will I do it again? Sure I will. And I want to use you. I want to use you, saith the Lord. And you just say that, Brody, tonight. Lord, send me. I'm ready. I'll do it. Oh. And this is by the Holy Ghost. This is not me. This is not a man. We were talking in the truck this weekend about youth camps. And the Lord said that youth group will explode. <laughs> and they'll have buses coming from all over. And it'll be right here in Lubbock. And you won't have to try to figure it out. The Lord said, I've got it already figured out. I've got it prearranged. And keep yourself consecrated. Keep yourself holy. And I'll do it. And you just said that before you came up. Lord, I want you to use me. And he said, I'll do it. You'll see. <laughs> and I don't have to tell you to get ready because it's, it's been as though you've been ready and you thought you was waiting on God but this weekend man you made some adjustments you made the adjustments I, I said you made some adjustments and Lord said no he made the adjustments they're already done I guess the word of the Lord would be you qualify Cause we need your revival, Holy Spirit fire, burning ever brighter in our souls. Kings and kingdoms calling, hear your people calling. King of kings, we need a miracle. Blessed. Blessed. <laughs> you said, consecrate yourselves to me. Blessed. Blessed. You will see amazing things. You said, consecrate yourself to me. bigger than what you seen. Ooh, I've got to get you out of your mind, says the Lord, because it's so big, it would blow your mind. people, the king's here, the king's here, Woo, yeah, the king's here, Woo, where's Jeff at, cause I can't <laughs> just go, 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 just raise your hands up to heaven, God's touching some young people in this place tonight, God's touching some young people in here tonight, there's the anointing right there, bless, Bless the anointing to make the adjustment. <laughs> Just keep ministering to us right there. His glory surrounds us. His fire is falling as we see. Woo! 
Savior is for us. His love is victorious. Bible is rising as we see. Bible is rising as we see. Lift up your voices in here. Don't stop now. You're drawing from the throne of God right now. As we pull. see. Come on, I need you to pull. God's not through yet. The king lift up your hands, lift up your voice. Come on, sing this. The king is among us. us. Come on now, the king. The fire is falling as we Bless. sing. Bless. And the Savior is falling. Bless. 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 And his love is victorious. Yeah. Tank up. Tank is up. rising Woo. as we sing. Bless. Bless. I saw you walking up the aisle earlier a couple times in my spirit this sound, might not sound like you know how to understand exactly how I'm saying but but I, I knew in my heart there's a curse on your life and the Lord told me to break that curse off of you sometimes it's not something that you do That's right. it just comes there's curse comes in a family with, not that you haven't loved the Lord or, but unless it's broken because of parents yeah. it just it's just there can be a curse Absolutely. there yeah, and I knew it I had spirit. one on me and my boys had one it was up on me and my boys when I got saved and I broke that curse absolutely Sorry. I knew we were supposed to break that curse Amen. and when that curse just got filled Praise hallelujah God. Well, it's all happening. And the blood breaks the curse. Yes, but there's sometimes there's an authority yeah. that you receive. And it deals with uh, hereditary things right. that are passed down. So when we when we break it, it's life's different. Spirit, there's a load, there's a lightness. It'll, it'll be totally different. You, it's going to change the way you think. You have to renew your own mind, but it's it's just different. Amen. So you ready? Lift your hands and receive it in the name of Jesus. We break that curse. Jesus name. Jesus name. And it is broke. Listen to me. It is broke. It is finished. Now the blessing. We release the blessing yes. of the Lord yes. call upon you your life. We call you blessed, blessed empowered to prosper. Great success. Woo. And changes. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Who else in here, real quick, have a testimony of God did something in you? Real quick, real quick. Testimony. It's good to hear these things. Just like that brother back there where the Lord healed his one kidney. Who else in here? You know that something happened into you. Whether it was your body or whether it was your heart. Who wants to testify real quick? Come up here real quick. Come up here real quick. Pastor Bracken's going to hold that microphone. God just revealed to me all chains being broken in my family and in my life and my, and my relationship and everything. Praise God. Hallelujah. Who else? Come up here real quick. Anybody else real quick? Thank you, Lord. The king is still here. <laughs> you know, I started coming to this church a couple years ago, and it's, it's something I felt very similar to tonight, but I used to be so filled with hate and just resentment towards even my own family, my own parents. I used to hate my own parents. And looking back, I didn't care about anybody but myself. I didn't. 
I didn't even give a thought towards anybody else, but just like tonight, God touched me for the for the first time. And I was born, and my mom says the, the second week I was alive, I was in church, and I was raised in church my whole life, but nothing ever touched me like the first time I came here, and I felt the Holy Spirit for the first time. And as soon as I got filled with the Holy Spirit, God changed my heart in a way that it, it can only be described as a miracle. And to this day, I actually care about people. And when I see someone being blessed, I can't help but rejoice with them. And and every time it brings me to tears, whenever I see someone being healed, and whenever I feel the Holy Spirit move like he is tonight, I know people are getting blessed and it touches my heart. And, and I just, I feel like, I feel like that. Amen. Hallelujah. Anybody else real quick? Anybody else real quick? Hallelujah. You know, uh, I was known as a miracle baby. I mean, first, when I was born, I mean, I would... whenever I was born, uh, I had kidney failure because of a, a rep, uh, medical terms, I don't know, big words. <laughs> But I had I started getting kidney failure. My kidneys started filling up, and uh, I was I was supposed to be dead. I had like I had, <laughs> I had like uh, ten machines on me, seven ten machines. And my grandfather, and most of you guys know him. Man, he comes up to me and goes, "Uh, see, I'm in this little case. I mean, you can't even touch me." He puts a hand on this, on this case and he starts praying. He starts yelling. And uh, the doctor walks in. He goes, sir, what are you doing? What are you doing? And my grandfather says, what you cannot do. <laughs> Two weeks, I was off every machine. I was, supposed, I was supposed to grow. I was supposed to be able to walk or run. And then, I mean, I got set free from that. Years ago, I'm out. I got diagnosed with uh, CKD, chronic kidney disease, stage three, stage four. And there's only stuff. There's only five stages of that. And you know what? I may be on medication, but God's gonna send me free back. God is healing me. Thank you. You're coming back. Uh -huh. Somebody's got to move, but I was just in the name of Jesus. You're coming back. Yeah. Uh -huh. I heard that. So I can relax. Saturday morning at uh, man camp. Uh, well, I. I've had two strokes. But praise God, the Lord has made my brain whole again. When I go in for my next checkup, it will be proven then. But praise God, it has been made whole again. And tonight, I've had knee replacement surgery on my left knee. And my right knee was all messed up. But praise God tonight. Oh, I'm whole again. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I praise His holy name for everything. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. <laughs> This out. You know, it, sometimes when um, 
God moves on you, you just have to do it. You know, I know Amos 3.3 3 says, when two walk together, they'll agree. And there's things that I got to do to move things around, but I know we had already picked up the offering. And God said, whatever you do in his ministry, do it also for the house. So I'm going to sow, or we're going to sell our family $5,000 into a Tim ministry Glory. for his building and $5,000 in this house for that building. God. Hallelujah. Woo. I really believe I'm not the only one. There's more here tonight. And if you do it tonight, there's something, like they said, there's something about breakthrough with finances. And you saw it with the family. You saw it tonight. Men saw it this weekend. And there's more. There's a couple of families here tonight. Might not be that amount, but you need to get it tonight. It's like Pastor Jim said, the king is here. What more when the king is walking down the aisles? What will you do? What will you do if someone came up to you and paid off your house? What will you do if someone came up to you and paid off your car? What would you do? How would you react? How would you react? If, if you just got healed, how would you react for that? Thank you, Lord, is not enough. Thank you, Lord, is not enough. Show him what you can do. Because it's not ours. What we have is not ours. It's all his. But he wants to see. If you release it in your hand, he's going to release it from heaven. And that dollar that you sow, or that five dollar that you sow, is going to come back a thousand fold. I believe it. I see it. And I saw it when I was back there on the camera. So just be obedient. There's three in here tonight. Three families in here tonight. I see that. And you know, you may have to move stuff around and do whatever, but there's three families. They're fixing to explode. We're fixing to explode with them. Before we got started tonight, I said, get ready. Because the fire's coming down. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I just can't contain it. Brother Tim, come over here. They're going to a new level. <laughs> Woo! Glory. Thank you, Lord. You know, I was at, at man camp uh, this weekend. And he came up to me whenever I said, hey, I want to sell all my products 50% off and I want to sow that money in the man camp. He came up to me afterwards. He said, Pastor, he says, the Lord laid on my heart to pay the other 50%. So whatever product you sell, I pay the other 50%. And I thought, that's a man after God's own heart. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Father, you told me that when I laid hands on people, there would be a transfer of wealth, the anointing. Deuteronomy 8.18, you said, Thou shalt remember it is the Lord thy God who has given thee power to get wealth. And I release that power, I release that anointing upon this family. Thank you, Lord. I call it right now and release it, the anointing of God. You bring it back to them in Jesus' name. Ha, 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 ha. Woo. I had such a burden on me when I got up tonight about money to, to, to take up offerings in here. And you see what God's done. It was, wasn't for me to do it, but it was just for people to obey God. Praise God. Obeyed with them. He obeyed. Come on now. I don't know if we really are getting a concept tonight that the king is in here. I promise you, I travel all over. He don't show up like this everywhere. He's here tonight to help us. Thank you, Lord. And it's not over with. Come on now, it's not over with. Thank you, Lord. You need a financial breakthrough. Raise your hand in here. Raise your hand. You say, I need a financial breakthrough. Hands are going up. 
Because I'm going to tell you right now, we're going to release our faith for you to get it. I said, we are going to release our faith for you to get that financial breakthrough. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Just keep your hands up to heaven. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Man, the anointing is here for a financial breakthrough. And don't let the devil condemn you and tell you all, you don't have nothing to give. You've been giving. You've been sowing. You've been tithing. And that's all God requires. And we are anointed. Listen to me. Pastor B and myself, we're anointed. The Spirit of the Lord is upon us to release the blessing over your life. Devil, in the name of Jesus, yes. I command you right now, you take your hands off of their money. Release. In the Thank name the of release. Jesus. And we commission and command the ministering spirits to go to cause the money to come into their hands. Every tither and every giver in this place tonight. Father, you said you would open up the windows of heaven and pour out such the blessing that they don't have enough the room to receive it. And we release, we command, we order, we direct the blessing of the Lord upon your life. I declare the Lord bless you empower you to prosper the Lord bless you and keep you the Lord make his face to shine upon you and to be gracious unto you the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and the peace of God that passes all understanding to guard your hearts to guard your minds just receive it right there devil you a lying spirit from the pits of hell will not believe your lies anymore. We have been empowered yes. to succeed. We've yes. been empowered yes. to prosper. Say this. Say prosperity, prosperity. is part of the in Christ part benefit the in Christ. package. I'm in Christ and Christ is in me. I'm blessed coming in. I'm blessed going out. I'm the head. I'm not the tail. I'm above only. I'm not beneath. In Jesus' name. Do you believe it? Then shout to the king tonight. Hey! There's no more chains. Hey! Hallelujah. I am free. Yes. Free. <laughs> Woo, glory. And no more chains. No more chains. No more I am free. Yes. <laughs> your heart he's seen your heart your heart has been revealed and there's nothing wrong with your heart Woo. and it's been the devil it hasn't been anything else had nothing to do with you had everything to do with the devil he's tried to kink that hose to stop that money from coming in but it's been unkinked tonight If you was a man, I'd slap you right now. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Empowered to prosper. Uh, 
You know you can laugh the money in. You know you can dance the money in. You know you can run the money in. Come on now. Come on now. I'm telling you, you can dance. You can shout the money in. You can run the money in. Woo! I'm going to shout the sound of freedom. I'm going to dance the dance of freedom. I'm going to jump the jump of freedom. So what you gonna do about it? What you gonna do? I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. So what you gonna do about it? here? I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. So what you gonna do? Come on and show me now. I am here, I'm the Lord. Oh, I am here, I'm the Lord. So sad.
Thank you, Lord. No more struggles. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. And it's not even concerning finances. You know what it is, and I know what it is, but it's not my business to say. But I heard the Spirit of God say, no more struggles. No more struggles. The two shall become as one. Thank you, Father. Yeah, restoration is the word tonight. Restoration. He's doing it right now. He's been moving and been working on your hearts this whole night. Well, there's the anointing right there. Yes, sir. I see it right there. Thank you, Father, for touching them. You did it just because of you love us. Thank you, Lord. It's not how good we are. It's His love for us. Woo. Amen. Amen. So, ministry's been in my heart for Amen. so long. And, you know, I'm having to work for a living. Amen. Hey, maybe it's time. I need to go up a level. You know, I was up here six years, six and a half years ago. Mark Hankins was here. And I had a vision. I saw myself getting on a jet plane. And I hadn't had that plane yet. So, Praise God. I wanted to bring uh -huh. you a blank one, but peeps wouldn't let me. I wanted Glory you to fill in the amount, but he wouldn't let me. He said you might <laughs> You know, and and look, I don't do this unless the Lord tells me, but I mean, she just brought a $10,000 seed. <clears throat> and when, when, the, when the Spirit of God, when the Spirit of God is moving like this, it's okay to announce how much people give because they did it in the Bible. We're not doing it to be boastful. She didn't even probably want us to say it, but it needs to be said. Just like they, the other couple gave 10 grand, you know? Praise God. And, and I heard the Holy Ghost say, it is time for you to be in the ministry. Praise God, it is time. Hallelujah. Ha ha. Woo. There's a release. Yes. That seed releases. Yeah things that are out there angels bring it open it up loose it <laughs> be loose money be loosed thank you father and there's something mm. that keeps coming somebody mm. I don't know how but there's a way of selling that business Absolutely. I don't I don't understand but there's a way yes. God will give you wisdom wisdom in Jesus mm. name wisdom because you're you're, you're trying God. to figure it out in your mind and mm. but it's sold uh -huh. somebody's taking it or <laughs> just running with it i don't know there i don't there's somebody's either just run you don't have the burden of it let it go now no more burden there it is right there and i always love to release my faith and if you'd have looked harder, you'd have seen me sitting in that jet waiting for you to get on it and it was my jet aha uh -huh. woo it's still going on. The blood is shed. It's still going on. His blood was shed, and it's still going on today. I know. Oh, hallelujah! I, I've been in these kind of services for a long time. And this is, this is the, if not one of the most True. powerful Amen. services. I agree. Really. I leaned over to Pastor Bracken before service, or no, sometime during service. I said, babe, I said, I'm going to believe for $50,000 for our, for our vision fund. Amen. I have never, ever, I'm the treasurer of this ministry. I have never, ever said that. Ever. Have I, baby? <laughs> so and then so I believe that that's going to happen yeah. quick that was the word that man came <laughs> but um, this morning before Pastor Tim got up I heard this in my heart the world is a radical place there's radical terrorism radical perversions radical sin 
And if we as Christians don't get radical, I'm not talking about ridiculous. Come on, I'm talking right. about radical. Yes, then we're going to get sucked in to the radicalism of the world. That's right. So there, that's it's, a there, it's a time that a there's going to be a separation. Yeah, that's a now, word. we may not have services like this every Sunday or every Wednesday. But I'm telling you what, we just, we just, I just love everything that, that the Spirit of God has said tonight. That it's just, we just, we just got to get, we just got to let it go and get it all right. I mean, just, Amen. you know, quit, quit playing. Amen. I totally agree. So anyway, Praise so, and, and I believe part of that's some radical giving, yes, you know, that's taking place yes. even here tonight. You know, giving reflects and affects your heart. Matthew 6, 21, wherever your treasure is, there also be your heart. And at this, this meeting started in man camp that night. And I, don't, I know he hasn't talked to you much and nobody really got to testify, but the spirit of prophecy came on me when I was taking up that offering and I brought Pastor Bracken up to the front and all the men held his arms up and the Lord spoke that it's time to build that building. It's time for that building right there to be built. And look, you don't have to sell this building first. That's small thinking. That's poverty thinking. If God said it, He put it on their hearts. He said Habakkuk 2.2. He said write the vision. Look at it. Everybody look at the vision. Write the vision down. You need that building. This city needs that building. They would be just fine right here. But God put it in their heart and made them uncomfortable and caused them to stretch. And he said, write the vision down, keep it plain. Why? So those that read it may run with it. They are the visionaries. You and me are to run with that vision. And God spoke that money was going to come in for this building. It was not going to be pressure. It was going to be easy thing. And Kit, you were there. We held his hands up and all the businessmen and all the pastors. And everybody hooked up with him, held his arms up. And he was telling me yesterday or today, he said, man, I felt the anointing of God in that service. Come on now. Money changes lives. I said money changes lives. And we, we challenged some men to take some envelopes home and write on it what they wanted to give. I've done this in my church. If you don't have nothing to give, you get you an envelope, you take it home, you write on it what's in your heart to give. Brody, get up here. Brody told me, he said, Pastor, he says, God challenged me in that meeting. Brody gave, and he, I want him to testify because how old are you, Brody? 22, he got his own house, got his own business, 22 years of age, but he, you heard him this morning. He'd been sacrificing, sowing, and gave the biggest seed. And I seen him. The Lord was dealing with him on that platform at man camp. I seen it. He playing that guitar and the Lord dealing with him. And I seen him. He, did, he gave that seed. And God said, take those envelopes home. Write on it what you want to give. It's no pressure. The pressure is on God. It's not on you or me. The pressure is for us to believe. And we've done that in our church. And people, I'm telling you, they get in houses, they get in cars. Don't feel bad if you don't have nothing to give tonight. Get you an envelope home. I told this story, Brother Copeland, Kenneth Copeland, started with a pencil. He was in a meeting, took a pencil. He, somebody gave him a pencil. He wrote on that envelope how much money he wanted to give. He signed it. And the meeting got over with. And he ran out and this lady stopped him out in the hallway and gave him some money. He ran and found that usher that had took his envelope with that pledge on it. He said, give me that envelope. Here's my money I pledged. Immediately God gave it to him. Listen to me. I don't know no other minister, you, that has blessed the level he's on. He's flying a Citation 10, $27 million jet. Look, don't get mad. It's paid for. He owns his own airport. Hundreds, I'm sorry, thousands of acres out there at Eagle Mountain. Everything's debt free. And when you walk on that property, it is excellent. But guess what? He owes no man anything. And I used to try to find him wrong. I used to tell my wife, oh, he owes somebody something. Where does he get his utilities? Well, I got invited to the minister's conference. I seen you there. Guess what? They own their own oil rigs. They own their own 
gas rigs. They have their own generators and their own water well system, and it don't stop there. Guess what? They sell all the overflow electricity to Fort Worth. The city pays him for electricity. And you know what? I didn't get mad. I said, God, if you did it for Kenny, you'll do it for Tim. Come on now. But it started with a seed, a pencil. You need to testify, Brody. Um, so some of y'all know, um, at the beginning of January, I gave the biggest seed that I've ever given. And um, I told God I wanted three things. I, I tell God what I want. That's what we need to do. We need to tell God Amen. what we want. That's right. Um, and so I gave and I said, God, I want um, to be out of debt this year. And I want a house. And I want you to bless my business. Because um, some of y'all know we have a car We have a car lot, me and dad, we started. And, um, and so within less than two months, that only took God, you would think something like that would take God longer or any human longer. But That's right. in less than two months, I was out of debt. I have my own house, which I make a house payment. So yeah, that's kind of in debt, but I don't really count it because that'll be paid off soon. Come and on. then, and then he's, he's blessing our business. We're selling cars. Yeah. And, and then at man Amen. camp, when God told me to give this seed, I was, I, I told, I told my grandma, my grandmother, I was like, man, I was sweating. And I know, but I really think that if, if you're giving something and you're sweating, guess what? The devil's sweating too. Come on. Hey. And so I gave, I gave the biggest seed. And I knew I, I already have a house. I, I drive a nice car. And I'm about to do something. And, and y'all are going to see how, y'all can see how I drive this car and stuff. And, uh, oh, yeah. and I, I really didn't tell God what I wanted this time because I just said, you know what? I'm already so blessed, but I'm, it's going to be times 10. And I'm going to be even more blessed. And, and that was the biggest seed on Friday night. Was it? It was Friday night, yeah. yeah. And um, I really feel, I, I, I sold my car because we have a car lot. And so I drive the car dealership's cars now. And so I got all the money from my car that was my personal car. <laughs> I have all that money in my That's bank right. account. And I'm one of those ones. I'm, I'm giving $10,000. Glory. Praise God, man. Wow. Breakthrough. Breakthrough. Praise God. Oh, and I want everyone to know that I'm only 22 years old. And I'm giving that much... You're thinking, he's only 20. Guess what? It don't matter how old you are. Just like Pastor Tim said, his son, Justin, 19, second biggest tither in his church. And he, right. Pastor Tim, the first. And whenever I heard that, I told my mom earlier today, I said, Mom, I don't need to pull you to the side because I need to find out who's the biggest giver in our church because I'm going to pass him. Come on. <laughs> Amen. That's right. I'm going to pass him. Absolutely. You can do it too. Come on, that's right. It doesn't have to be ten thousand dollars. Start small. That's right. Amen. I want to tell you something. I, I, my biggest seed that I gave on Friday night. I want to tell you this. God. It's five hundred dollars. That's the biggest seed I've ever given. I just went from five hundred to ten thousand <laughs> in three days, in two days. <laughs> but guess what? Woo. Guess what? I was going to say a year, but no, not even a year. I, a couple months, I'm going to pass 10,000. It's going to be another one. And another. Hey, come on now. God said he gives seed to a sower. And a young man like that, just purpose in his heart. And I'm going to tell you right now, for him to go from $500 to two days later, wanting to sow 10,000, you will never convince me that the king is not in this place tonight. I guarantee you the devil's far from this place. You know, and people say, well, you know, brother, money is the root of all evil. You're a liar. Because if money was the root of all evil, the devil would see to it that you'd get a raise by now. He'd make sure that you got multiplied way more than you've been multiplied. 
And Brody, the first thing the Lord gave you is going to be a good wife, too. Amen. Praise God. I, I want y'all to come up here. Come up here, Brody. You and your future wife, come up here. Because we're going to lay hands. Praise God. We're going to lay hands on them right now. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Woo. He might just do it tonight. I don't know. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Lord, we thank you right now for supernatural increase in your yeah. life. Lord, we know the money's going to come, but Lord, I want you to raise them up supernaturally. I want you to flood their spirit with revelation yes, knowledge. I, and I, let me interrupt this. Yes, sir. That, that airfare is already taken care of. Praise God. Amen. Wow. When I pray, heaven opens. <laughs> he already answered my prayer. He already knew what you had need of. And he interrupted my anointed prayer. And I'm kidding. <laughs> Blessed! Woo! Woo! <laughs> oh. Where'd Charlie go? Where'd Charlie go? And Marie, where'd y'all go? What? Aha. Uh -huh. Where'd he go? I saw y'all up here. He went to get his checkbook. He went to get his checkbook. <laughs> Come up here, Charlie. What, what, what were y'all up here for? Huh? The business. They're up here for the business. Praise God. Yeah, that was the thing. Praise All God. right, well, uh, Donna and I, we're going to match the five. Praise the Lord. So we're 40. Y'all counting? God. We're at 40. <laughs> Woo. This is Charlie Brown. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> uh, just raise your hands up to heaven. Glory to God, man. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Increase is all over you. Yeah. Bless him. Bless <laughs> Multiply him. Ooh, glory. Ha, ha, ha. That brother was obedient to the Lord that came up and gave that seed. Hey, where's, where's Anthony? Don't ever hold back when you feel like you got something from God. That goes for anybody in this place. Anybody in this house. If you feel like you got something, listen, it's like a kid trying to learn how to walk. You don't slap him because he didn't do good. That's how we learn. And Be you led. know, I, I feel like the Lord wants me to say this. Some people gave 10000 Some people gave 5000 Look, if all you can do is give 100 or $5, and you want to do that, you come up here right now and say, hey, I want to give $5. I want to give 10 Because listen to me, if that's what you can do, it's just as important as a person that would give a million-dollar check. It's all about sacrifice. That's all it is. It's called sacrifice. Amen. Actually, we're at 35 because five is yours. Praise the Lord. When I say, what do you mean, where are we going? Well, she's bleeding for 50, so I was just putting that number out there. But y'all understand, we weren't, this was not planned, and we weren't even talking about doing this tonight. This has just been That's a flow right. of the Spirit. And... You know, I like what Charlie said. And you know, that takes, a, that takes a man to come up here and say, I can't give 10, but I can do five. Yeah. Praise God, man. Yeah. Look, I've been in meetings. I'm going to be honest with you. I've been in meetings where $20 was a stretch for me. But I did it. And when I did, God gives seed to the sower. He doesn't give it to the thrower. He'll give it to the sower. Every time. I love Proverbs 11, 23, 24, and 25. He said, there is one who sows, yet increases even more. But there is one who withholds more than it is right, and it leads to poverty. Verse 25 says, the generous soul shall be made rich. Wow. And he that waters shall also be watered himself. That young man that got blessed, he came up here and gave $200. I know he's a proud dad. I said, I know he's a proud dad. There's a thousand right there from Praise God, man. So never feel ashamed of your giving. Shame comes from the devil only. It doesn't come from God. Praise God. The word at man camp was money moving, money shaking, strongholds are breaking. Praise God. Say that. Say money's moving. Money's moving. Money's shaking. Money's shaking. Strongholds are breaking. Strongholds and you know where the strongholds need to break is up here. Yep. It's our thinking. 
whatever's given here and whatever buddy comes in, we're matching. Well, y'all better hurry up. <laughs> Praise God, man. They're going to match whatever Body comes in up here. Is that, is that just cash shade. or checks, too, that are coming? You better qualify that because I see them writing a check over here. So, so, so up and up, up. Whatever you was going to do, don't. Stronghold's <laughs> breaking right now. Money's moving. Money's shaking. Stronghold's broken right now. <laughs> You've been a meeting like this? Sir? You've been a meeting like this? It's been a while, but never to this <laughs> level of the anointing of God's here. I've been in meeting where a lot more money came in, but it was flesh and it was man-made. But it's the anointing in here doing this. It's God. The King is here. Praise God. Y'all better hurry up because I'm getting hungry. I'm going to be honest. Money's moving. Everyone's breaking. Right now. Praise God. Money's moving. Money's shaking. Hallelujah. Strongholds breaking. Right now, money's moving, money's shaking, strongholds breaking right now. Money's moving, oh it's shaking, the strongholds are breaking right now. Money's moving, it's shaking, and the strongholds are breaking right now. Shaking, strongholds breaking right now. Money's moving, money's shaking, strongholds breaking right now, right now. It's moving, shaking, breaking right now. Very good public speaker, so if my voice gets shaky, then sorry. I showed up a little late tonight, you know. Obviously, I, I mean, never in a place to miss a Tim Brown meeting. So, even though I showed up late, I showed up with about two minutes left right before they passed the buckets. And I sat down, and you know, I heard you know, we're gonna take up an offer for Tim Brown. I sprinted to my car and you know, grabbed twenty dollars. Every I felt you know, every bit counts. I ran my envelope upstairs and I got back down and within within a couple seconds someone already handed me a hundred dollars. You know, just just that simple. And then, you know, given earlier I was gave again. And I was back there thinking whenever you were talking about uh you know, writing down on an envelope, like you know, something big, and I was like, you know what, I, I need to I just want to write down a hundred dollars. And right about the time you're talking about that, I was like, you know, I got a speeding ticket on my way back and everything like that. So, you know, money is always a little, a little tight, but I was sitting there thinking and I was like, you know what? I was like, I got 12 days to get some money for this ticket. I was like, I'm going to sell that hundred dollars I just got while I got it, you know? So I imagine, you know, what he can do in a couple seconds. It's always, you never know what he'll do before the night's over. That's a blessing. Praise God. Now, I'm just going to be obedient to God because when he's up here giving his testimony, the Lord's laid it on somebody's heart out here to come bless him. Come on up here. Lord, put it on your heart to be a blessing to him financially. Just bring it and sow it. I know a lot of money's been moving around, but I tell you what, it's an endless supply. I know what God said when he was up here doing it. This stuff ain't playing. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. And there's some more. There's some more here. There's some more. God put it on your heart to be a blessing to it. Wow, that's awesome. Praise God. <laughs> and you know, God gives seed to the sower, but he also gives bread. And I really believe this is your bread. Amen. We're going to eat tonight. God bless you, man. These people love you, man. Praise God.
praise God. That's so awesome. Just so much money just moving in here tonight, you know. Praise God. I'll add a thousand to that. I'll let you. There's 22,706 that came up here. Right there. Pastor, in almost 23 years, I ain't seen nothing like this. And in, uh, in 20, 30 years of ministry, I ain't seen nothing like this before. Praise God. It's a blessing. Hallelujah. 70,000 bucks in one night. From, from this right here. And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and in breaking bread and in prayers. And fear came upon every soul. And many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. And all that believed were together and had all things common and sold their possessions and goods and parted them to all men as every man had need. We are the book of Acts. Amen. Praise God. You know, most people don't understand, but the word glory, if you look it up in the this Greek, the mean, it means wealth. And when the king shows up, he brings his glory, which means wealth. Praise God. You gotta bless your grandkids. I'm gonna be your grandchild too. Pardon me as I continue that. I don't want to cut that short. And they continued, and they continued daily with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house, did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart, praising God. And having favor with all people, and the Lord added to the church daily, such as should be saved. Amen. Amen. That's what it's all about. I think we should sing that song and really worship God yeah. right now for what he's done. It's amazing. Yeah. It's God. It's not orchestrated by man or woman, I tell you. It's God. Hallelujah. Come on, why don't we stand up in this place tonight? You know, this is laid on my heart too, is that you can stand here tonight and rejoice with this blessing and realize that the king is moving. And just because you didn't get $10,000 tonight doesn't mean that God's not going to bring you what you've been believing for. Who's to say that God's not going to bring you $20,000 because you rejoiced with their $10,000? Hallelujah. Come on. Keys among us. His love is victorious. It's rising up. It's rising up. Come on, let's sing this out. And the King is among us, His glory surrounds us, and His fire is falling as we sing. And the Savior is for us, and His love is victorious, His rival is rising. King is among us, and his glory surrounds us, and his fire is falling, it's falling right now, right here, oh, oh. the king is among us, his glory surrounds us, his fire is falling, come 
on, you want to see that blessing? Worship Him tonight. And the Savior is for us. His love is victorious. His rival is rising in His name. And the King is among us. His glory surrounds us. And His fire is falling as we sing. just the beginning this is the turbo charge this is now when you go faster and faster and faster oh because you call on my name call on his name Jesus oh just sing it out Jesus 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 there's no other name like his oh like Jesus 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 cuz we need your revival Holy Spirit fire burning in our hearts in our souls Kings and kingdoms falling, hear your people calling, King of kings we need. If that's you tonight and you're, in the, you're standing and you're like, God, I want that miracle. God, I, I want to rejoice with them because I want to see what you can do because you, you promised me greater things. And the God that I serve, I know that I serve and we serve tonight, he doesn't lie. He doesn't step back. He doesn't think twice. He has a plan for your life. He has a miracle coming right now. And he has it for you here tonight. Whether it be financial, whether it be physical, whether it be something that's going on in your head. You know what? The Spirit of God knows exactly where you are. And he knows where you're going. So just tap in with him tonight. Because the revival that you're looking for is not something brand new. But it's to be brought back to life revive so tonight I want you to lift up your hands and as we sing this Holy Spirit come and just move through us oh God move in our everyday lives not just a service God you don't just do miracles in the church you do miracles in our everyday life because we are the church so Holy Spirit move 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 yes and hold your place oh we say have your way oh we say have your way we need your revival holy spirit fire burning ever brighter in our souls and kings and kingdoms fall they're falling right now Come on, as we call out, just like Jericho walked around for six days, the seventh day was the day of shouting. The seventh day was the day that it came past. Today is the church's seventh day. Oh, we need your revival. Holy Spirit, fire.
Your rejoicing spirit rise up, rise up. He's among us, he is for us, not against us. He's madly in love with us, he's madly in love with you. No matter what you've done or what you do, the king is among us, his glory surrounds us. Savior's for us, His love is victorious, revival is rising in His name. Revival is rising in His name. We are rising in His name. As we're just singing, I'm, my greatest prayer is that you're going to see a harvest like you've never seen before. I'm demanding you're going to see something like you've never seen before. But you, you, you put your faith with it. God works with our faith. And you did something, you guys, you did something with your faith, and that honors God. What you make happen for his house and his ministers, his, his kids, his family. You agree with me that you're going to see what you've never seen before the supernatural of God, the glory of God, because I'm going to continue to be in his face over you. And I know you're going to see it, because this is how God likes to work. Healing, delivering, lifting up burdens. keep getting this ever since this morning the scripture I think I mentioned it to Tim on the way home 
It's found in Job. And we'll, Job 22 says, Acquaint now yourself. I, I think it's because of the whole weekend with the men and what we meant. He said, Acquaint yourself with him and be at peace. Thereby good shall come to you. Receive, I pray thee, the law from his mouth and lay up his words in your heart. If you return to the Almighty, we talked about that Easter Sunday. If you return to the Almighty, I prophesied over you, Raul, years ago. The Lord had a word for you and your wife. And you're Abraham and Sarah, and nothing's changed. This is your home. I'm so glad to see you tonight. As I start reading this, you receive this. If you return to the Almighty, you'll be built up. Put away iniquity far from your tabernacles. That goes for all of us. Put away the iniquity. That, it was such a cleansing weekend at man camp. I can't explain it. You just had to get the, get the messages. They're available. Listen to it about three or four times. Then shall you lay up gold as dust and the gold of Ophir as the stones of the brooks. Yes, the Almighty will be your defense and you'll have plenty of silver. Then you'll have your delight in the Almighty. Anybody delighted in Him tonight? You'll have the delight in the Almighty and you'll Lift up your face unto God. Thou shalt make your prayer unto him. He shall hear thee and pay your vows. Thou shalt decree a thing and it will be established unto you. And the light shall shine upon your ways. When men are cast down, then you will say, there's a lifting up. There's a lifting up. There's been a lifting up in this place. And he shall save the humble person. He'll save the humble person. He shall deliver the islands of the innocent. And it is delivered by the pureness of of your hands there's something about staying clean before God humbling ourselves blessed are the pure in heart they shall see God this is all just a little left over from the weekend uh, thank you Jesus there's no condemnation for those who are in Christ law of the spirit of life in Christ has set us free from the law of sin and death I don't know if what this means but I keep hearing I keep hearing this role go get her if that means anything to you we'll do it The things of the Spirit don't ever go away. They're there. Sometimes you, if you drop something or you're not walking it, you go pick it up. It's always there. If there's a call, it's always there. You're held accountable for it. The call's there. The gifts and callings are without repentance. The gifts are there. The callings are there. The things of God, the plan of God, it's always there. You might not be walking in it, but it's always there. There's things that are there. Your healing is there. Your freedom is there. That's why he said, take it. That's not something we're praying. Take it. It's yours. It's free. Faith means when you receive, it means to believe you take it. <sighs> Anything else you got? Uh, all my products are on sale tonight. They're free. So uh, just take them all. 
I don't want to carry that suitcase anyway. That thing's too heavy. Uh, if we run out of books, I'm going to send some books. When I get home, I'll make sure I send books. So if we run out of books and CDs, I'll just have those books shipped over here, and they'll have them for you real quick. I just want to be a blessing to you because you sure have been a blessing to me tonight. Thankful for my son. He's a blessing. Amen. We get blessed here. Every time we come, we get blessed. So I just wanted to uh, just be a blessing with all those products. Praise God. You help yourself. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Anybody else got anything up here? I don't know how you shut off a meeting like this. place in the full anointing, the fullness of the anointing. Hallelujah. The anointing can take you places that no one else can take you. And so, Father, we just thank you for that anointing. Let it lay heavy upon him. Let it lay heavy upon him, Lord. The weight, the weight of his glory. This is the full weight of his glory. The weight of his glory. Because you have a testimony now. You can testify of God's goodness and God's grace. God's grace. He's been good to you. He's been merciful. He's been so gracious. And we love you, Lord. We love you. We love your name. We love the name. We love the name. That name. That name. The name of all names. <laughs> That's a good name. His name is Jesus. And I thank you, Lord. He's come back. He's come back. And he's been placed. Never to leave. Never. Never again will you leave. Never again. I speak it over you. And I plead the blood. I plead the blood. I plead the blood over your family. The whole family. Not just you. The whole family. The whole family's covered. It's protected by the blood. And I thank you, Lord, for the blood. I thank you. Thank you, Lord, for the anointing. Thank you. There's an anointing. Hallelujah. Let it flow. Let it flow. Let it flow and let it grow. Let it grow. Let it grow. Like a... <laughs> let it grow. Let it grow. And let... Whoa. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you. His glory surrounds us. His fire is falling 
as we sing. And the Savior is for you. And His love is victorious. And revival is rising as you sing His name. Because the King is among you. His glory surrounds you. His fire is falling as you sing. And the Savior is for you. His love is victorious. His revival is rising in His name. thinking about that prayer that Jabez prayed. He said, Lord, let your hand be upon me for good. Everybody just say that. Lord, let your hand be upon me for good. I don't want to be a source of pain. I want to be a source of good from this day forward. see what happens bless y'all thank you everybody for coming tonight thank you for obeying God you can't you can't go wrong obeying God bless you guys have a good night you're dismissed sit in the glory if you want to whatever just no hurry just fellowship whatever don't forget the products out there if you want something go out there check it out take something